Hello everyone, well, Briris is back in mega fight against John McCallum. Oh, you could say in mega mismatch, that's a, a one way how to put this fight up, a mega mismatch. Well, what can I say, uh, Wasserman Boxing, big shout out to you, putting on this extremely, extremely hard on the card and extremely waste of money. It is a waste of money. And this is what you're putting on. This is his opponent. Uh, I have nothing against John McCollum. But um, 13 wins, 2 losses. We could really go and argue that these 13 wins, he fought a very good opponent and he just did not have a chance to really score the knockouts. It, sometimes it happens. You know, sometimes it happens. But unfortunately, this is really not the case. And we're gonna dive into it quickly. And that's what I'm saying. This is a mismatch, guys. Complete mismatch. Just one of the opponents, the latest ones, is 9 wins, 127 losses. 5 wins, how many? 48 losses. 10 wins, 93 losses. I mean, guys, the list goes on and on. The only people with a positive record on his resume are those who beat him. Those are only boxers who have more wins than losses. Another one, 17 wins, 43 losses. Okay, guys, and he still doesn't score knock knockouts. If Lucas Brown, you can see Lucas Brown right here, got refused for world title fight against Daniel Dubois, why this guy is allowed? Here you go. This is his page. He's happy because he's fighting X three times world champion. Okay, he's happy. Uh, it's a big, great honor. But in reality, this is Breeders in the last fight. You can see against J. Opataya. Breeders get beaten up. I mean, it was going Opataya's way. But the times Breeders landed the shots, Opataya felt them. Breeders is properly a heavy handed dude. He has good chin. He's fairly fast, even at his age. He's fairly good with footwork. He has a good footwork, good chin. And when he landed, he landed. And he broke Opatai's jaw, I think, in two places. And Opatai ha still hasn't fought. And that's why I said, you could say he won the fight, he won the title, but he lost the career because he hasn't been back. And you don't know if he's going to come back. Okay? Having said that, I think Johnny, Johnny Boy should be very happy very happy that in united kingdom we do have this magical thing called nhs okay and there will gonna be some paramedics on the spot big shout out to, to nhs england because he gonna need it and if if british boxing control does not stop this fight well what can i say that's that that's everything wrong with the boxing because you have ex world champion who just lost the fight in closely competitive fight gonna be fighting someone who is at best we can call him now a journeyman at best this is a gross mismatch that's it this fight should not be made and it should be stopped and I will gonna watch it and I think someone will gonna get hurt very badly here. So yeah, those are my two thoughts. I just need to, you know, put it this for now because this is ridiculous. This is just sad. That's what it is. And this is why boxing is dying. These type of mismatches. Anyway guys, subscribe Mr. Zasso till next time.